some bigger, but the size ones, but the small ones. There's just an incredible variety. scientific explanation for why that is. It just is, so I accept that in good faith and I don't question it. How come you can see through those? Because they're not covered in scales. The rest of the wings are, top and bottom. And let's go look at these bigger ones here. We can see them better. Yeah. And these two Hercules logs, clear, uh, clear membrane. over here. And I'll touch this. It's very delicate. But what I'm going to do is stick my finger right behind it. Can you see? Yeah. See through it? Those are perfectly clear membranes. The entire wing is actually clear, but it's covered by these patterns of scales. Top and bottom. How come that one looks like it has legs? Well, those are tails. That's because that's the male and that's the female. The female is bigger because she has all the reproductive organs in her body. Her job is to lay eggs and perpetuate the species. So that's why she's bigger. And that is typical for most moths and butterflies. The females are larger, but the males have these long tails. And that's a very interesting feature. In fact, I've got that entire display case there with nothing but tail holes. Look at that one. Look at this one. Nine-inch tails. Getting a specimen this size with the tails perfectly intact is very difficult because they're really delicate. That's why I have no hair left on the top of my head. Setting these things and preparing the tails is very stressful. Got tail moths from Australia, Africa, uh, Malaysia, India, China, North America, Mexico, China, Malaysia, Africa, uh, North America, Malaysia, 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 Vietnam. This is the rarest and most beautiful of all. That fish you pay from Vietnam. And hideously expensive, but so, so worth it. And then these long-tailed ones are from Africa, Spain, and South America. 
and this is pretty special. I've got four species of Opiocris, Semiramis, uh, Jehovah, Sontanaxi, and Discern. Well, my mind is like a steel trap. It's a bit rusty, but it holds on to things. So I remember all the names just out of sheer enthusiasm. Sure, yeah, let's go. Well, it's uh, part of its camouflage. When the wings are folded up, it resembles a leaf. And particularly, this one resembles a leaf in mid-season change. Uh, this one is more of a dry season, kind of a yellow form, and these greener ones come out earlier in the year. They blend in with the green leaves in their surroundings. Yes? Why does that, why does that one look like it's kind of blue? What, this spike back here? That's a female. The spike is its ovipositor, just like I was showing you with that Ickerman wasp back there. Same thing here. The female lays the eggs through that spike. But she's actually a pest. There are other wasps, like that parasite wasp, that lay their eggs in these things and other species. Well, look, it's hard to see underneath, but it's completely hollow. It's just a membrane. All it does is resemble a leaf. It's just camouflage to resemble a leaf. I just spread out a couple more of these pumps, so I got a good look underneath. It's just completely hollow. There's nothing inside. No organs, no brains, no nothing. So it's just camouflage. It's just a detail that enables them to blend in with their surroundings. Oh, and this one too? This one is camouflage to resemble thorns on specific bushes. And I believe this one came from Costa Rica. So there are basically insects that are camouflaged to blend into every different species of tree and bush in the tropics. Again, that's the camouflage. It blends in, and, and you can't tell it apart from the thorns on the branches in these specific bushes. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch more of these guys. I've got a smaller one with really spiky legs, and I've got one of these with a whole bunch of spikes around its head, and I've got one of these that's about this big, ten and a half inches across, just massive, but I still have to add those to this later. So, any other questions? Okay, great. Thank you, kids.